The trees are turning yellow. Fall is here. It's time to winterize our Malibu wake setter. Here on the passenger side of the engine, we have the exhaust manifold. We're gonna pull the hose clamp, which I just did right here, and drain the water. We're getting water out of both hoses. This hose is the crossover pipe from the other exhaust manifold. So part of that manifold is draining right now when I pull this hose. Then we're gonna go down here and disconnect our knock sensor. I remove the nut and then I remove the bolt. Mine's a half inch. It looks like my entire sensor is spinning, which that's okay. We'll just put it back on accordingly. And if yours is plugged, you might need to get a pick to unplug that. There it goes. And I do not recommend leaving these sensors out over the winter, once everything's drained thoroughly, put them back in. Because what can happen is they can rust and corrode over the time of the sensor being out of the block. So put it back in the block when you're all finished. And onto the other side, we're gonna remove the panel. And we're gonna do the same thing. Loosen the clamp on the exhaust, And everything was already drained into the other side. But you can never be too sure. It's empty. Now down below, we're going to this knock sensor. We'll plug it. And same thing. Lots of sediment in there. With that drain. And if we move just backwards a little bit near the alternator, we're going to remove this hose clamp and the raw water pump hose clamp right there. That sits a little bit closer or lower than this one does. Let me show you why. We're going to want to reach our finger up in here and look for anything that was picked up over the last season. And there's always stuff in here. And that can uh, affect your cooling. This is just the best time to do it, the end of every season or more. Got that all clean now. Pretty much comes out one big chunk. Now we're going to remove that clamp.
Now, if your boat has a heater, you'll have to winterize that too. This is the easiest hose to take off. It swoops all the way down to the same side we were just on and goes under the boat here. And here's the return, which goes right up to here. The easiest way though to do this is from the top side of the engine where we just were, right up here. Remove the clamp and pull the hose. Now you're either going to blow air through this or put safe antifreeze into it. Turn on the compressor. And then I take and I blow air into this hose. And you should get some water out of here. I like to be extra safe, so I do put some antifreeze down in here.